I mean, you could have like a, a line come into your head and out of nowhere and wonder like, why is this, why am I saying this? Why is it coming in my head? I think I'll write that down. But then that line will lead to another line that will, you know, lead to a verse and lead to a chorus and then that will lead to a song. So that's another way. There's, I'll give you an example. I saw you from a foreign window braying down the suffering road. I'm, re I'm reading about, I'm reading about Lord Baron, and then uh, there's a line about Rembo. So one line might be about something, and another line might be about something else, you know, and, uh, but the song itself is about suffering. So it's about, say, someone who's having to either travel in other countries or live in other countries other than what he would, where he would like to be, and and he feels like this entanglement, and this is causing suffering, and that's basically what the song's about. But it's not about any one person or any two people. It's it's an idea leading to redemption through suffering. But when I was singing it with Dylan, it just occurred to me that part of it could be about him, and I didn't realize it until that absolute that second. You were burned down the suffering road. You were carrying your burden to the palace of the Lord. To the palace of the Lord. You kept your books. You're reading on the sofa. And you were singing every prayer. That the master said instilled in you. Since Lord Byron learned to love this prayer. To get it right all oh, this time, you don't have to come back again. Oh, if you get it right this time, I don't need to explain. From the loneliness of the crowd, yeah, in the palace of the Lord. They were given you religion, breaking bread. Oh, 
One Irish Rover will return with the Celtic sounds of the chief. It transcends this. And in, in Ireland, it's there. It's hard to identify because it's, it's because there's a preoccupation with the past. It's not sentimental. It's expressed at Raglan Road. The, I mean, the actual street. You know, rather than being like a street with a row of houses, you come away thinking that this is an incredible place. It must be, it has to be. I mean, the lives that have been lived in this place and the things that have happened. You know, it must be like out of this world. On Raglan Road, on an autumn day, I saw her first and you. Well, her dark hair would weave a snare. I bet I might one day Yet I walked along the enchanted way And I said, let grief be a falling leaf At the dawning of the day On, on Grafton Street In November we tripped lightly along the ledge of a deep ravine where can be seen the worth of passions pledged a queen of hearts still making cards and I and I and I am not making hay well I love too much by such and such is happiness 
thrown away Somebody said that the um, the Irish uh, like misuse the uh, English language to their own advantage, mm. like that. I never read anybody really. I mean, apart from Shakespeare in school, there was no. I mean, uh, there was no Irish poetry. There wasn't even any Irish literature in school because I think that they just kept anything to do with uh, Southern Ireland uh, out of sight. At that point, you know, I'd never been influenced by Yeats or Kevin because I didn't come to those people until I'd written loads of songs myself. The only way I could relate to Kevin or Yeats would just be as other writers. The same way I'd relate to Bob Dylan as a writer or Leonard Cohen or um, anybody. But to me, no, they're just other writers. There's, there was well, no influence. When I get back to talking about where does it come from, you know, we don't really know where it comes from. You know, we just know that that, that it's a, it's a, it's feelings, imagination, and things that you think, and it comes from that. Gentlemen, got 
Crystal.